children let us continue the chapter chemical reactions and equations the exercise of that chapter is continued the 14th question what is that question in the refining of silver the recovery of silver from silver nitrate solution involved displacement by copper metal write down the reaction involved here what is the reaction it is a refining of silver it is a process of refining of silver in this process the recovery of silver from silver nitrate solution involved displacement by copper metal so you write the chemical equation here we have to write down the equation you write the equation what is the equation the molecular formula of silver nitrate is ag no3 that is a aqueous solution reacts with copper copper is a solid gives copper nitrate and silver cu no3 twice that is also aqueous solution plus silver this is the reaction involved and you balance it here you count the number of atoms of each element and here cu no3 twice is there no3 single is there so you write 2 and cu single is there you keep it as it is but here you write 2 ag this is the reaction of the refining of silver now the 15th question what do you mean by a precipitation reaction explain by giving examples you have, have to explain the precipitation reaction and also you have to give the example when two reactants in soluble react and one or more of the products is insoluble or forms a precipitate the reaction is called precipitation reaction you can give the example when a solution of iron chloride and ammonium hydroxide are mixed brown precipitate of iron hydroxide is formed that is the example for the precipitation reaction now let us write so what do you mean by a precipitation reaction write the answer when two reactants in solution when two reactants in solution react and react and one or more of the product is one or more of the product is insoluble or forms a precipitate is insoluble and forms a precipitate the reaction is called precipitation reaction the reaction is called the reaction is called precipitation reaction precipitation reaction example let us take when a solution of iron chloride when a 
solution of iron chloride and ammonium hydroxide are mixed and ammonium hydroxide are mixed a brown precipitate of iron hydroxide is formed a brown precipitate of iron hydroxide is formed iron hydroxide is formed this is the example and now let us write the chemical equation here what is the molecular formula of iron chloride that is FeCl3 FeCl3 in aqueous solution plus ammonium hydroxide that is also aqueous solution NH4 OH is the ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide NH4OH aqueous solution gives ferric oxide Fe OH thrice which is a solid plus 3 NH4 Cl this solid is a precipitate that is Peric hydroxide, peric hydroxide, which is a P precipitate. This is one of the example of the precipitation reaction. Sixteenth question is explain the following in terms of gain or loss of oxygen with two examples each oxidation and reduction. We have to explain oxidation and reduction in terms of gain of oxygen and loss of oxygen you know that oxidation is a gain of oxygen and reduction is a loss of oxygen oxidation is a gain of oxygen and reduction is a loss of oxygen so let us write the definition here first one you take a oxidation A chemical reaction in which a substance gains oxygen. A chemical reaction in which reaction in which a substance gains oxygen. A substance gains oxygen is called is called oxidation you take two examples here we have to give two examples for each examples one you take cu combines with oxygen to produce CuO. CuO here balance the equation. O2 is there means you write 2 CuO, 2 Cu. Here copper is heated with oxygen. You take here copper reacts with oxygen to produce copper oxide copper oxide in this reaction in this reaction 
सी यू इज ऑक्सीडाइज टू सी यू ओ कॉपर इज ऑक्सीडाइज टू कॉपर ऑक्साइड एंड एग्जाम्पल टू ये टेक दैट इज एम जी प्लस ओ टू गिवस एम जी ओ एंड यू बैलेंस इट टू टू नो दैट वेन मैग्नीशियम वेर इज बर्ंट विथ ऑक्सीजन इट कंबाइन्स विथ ऑक्सीजन टू गिव मैग्नेशियम ऑक्साइड हेयर ऑल्सो देर इज ए गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो इट इज ए ऑक्सीडेशन when magnesium is burnt with air when magnesium is burnt with air magnesium magnesium combines with combines with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide said in this reaction in this reaction magnesium gains oxygen mg gains oxygen and oxidized mg oxidized to mgo these are the two examples for the oxidation re reaction now let us consider let us take reduction reduction then what is reduction reduction is a chemical reaction in which substance loses oxygen so right a chemical reaction in which chemical reaction in which chemical reaction in which a substance loses oxygen substance loses oxygen is called reduction yeah oxidation is a gain of oxygen reduction is a lose of oxygen here give the example take zinc oxide zno reacts with carbon reduces to zinc plus co zinc oxide reacts with carbon di carbon to zinc oxide reacts with carbon to give zinc in this reaction in this reaction zno loses oxygen and reduces to zn this is one of the example of reduction next you take the second one co plus h2 gives cu plus h2o copper oxide is heated with hydrogen or you take copper oxide 
reacts with reacts with hydrogen to give cu in this reaction in this reaction in this reaction cuo loses oxygen and reduces to cu question number 17 a shiny brown colored element x on heating in air becomes black in color you already observed that when copper is heated in air it becomes black in color when copper filings are heated by taking in a china dish you observe the formation of the layer of black color on the copper filings and that is nothing but copper oxide so which is the element here element is copper so you write the answer element x is copper it symbol that you know cu and compound formed is here shiny brown color element is copper on heating in air becomes black in color that compound formed is here copper oxide copper oxide that is cuo the reaction is Two Cu, yes, plus O two gives two CuO. That is, copper was brown, and when it reacts with air, turns black. That is a copper oxide. Here, a shiny brown colored element X on heating in air becomes black in color. We have to. name the element x and the black color compound formed and the element is copper and compound black color compound is copper oxide and the reaction is here cu plus o2 gives cuo question number 18 why do apply paint on iron articles when iron articles are exposed to moisture air they gets rust to prevent this rusting paint will be applied on the iron articles you know that if the iron articles gets rust more amount of iron will be damaged to prevent the damage of iron and iron articles paint will be applied on it so right answer is here so right paint will be paint is applied or paint will be applied on iron articles iron articles to prevent rusting to prevent rusting paint acts as a paint acts as antioxidants antioxidant and saves iron articles from damage iron articles from 
damage due to corrosion. And also faint act as paint acts as buffer between the buffer between iron article and moisture iron article and moist air then what is the answer for the question number 18 why do apply paint on iron articles is the question what is the answer here paint will be applied on iron articles to prevent rusting paint acts as antioxidants and saves iron articles from damage due to corrosion paint acts as a buffer between iron article and moist air now the 19th question oil and fat containing food items are flushed with nitrogen you know if oil and fat containing food items are left for a long time the food items are oxidized they become rancid and their smell and taste change so to avoid this the oil and fat containing food items are flushed with nitrogen when they flush with nitrogen the chips prevents from getting oxidized flushing prevents the oxidation of the food items that is the reason you write here write the answer oil and fat containing food items are flush with nitrogen flush with nitrogen to prevent the to prevent them to prevent from getting oxidized getting oxidized so that food items food items remain fresh and tasty tasty even though they kept for long time kept for long time without getting oxidized long time without getting oxidized so you write the answer that oil and fat containing food items are flushed with nitrogen to prevent from getting oxidized so that food items remain fresh and tasty without getting oxidized even though they kept for long time that is the answer we have to write here Now the 20th question, explain the following terms with one example each, A. Corrosion and B. Rancidity. Then what is corrosion? When a metal is attacked by substances around it such as moisture, acids etc. It is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion. What is corrosion? 
when a metal is attacked by substances around it such as moisture acids etc it is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion what are the examples of corrosion first one is black coating on silver green coating on copper reddish brown coating on iron articles that is rusting of iron is also corrosion so these are the three examples for corrosion what is that black coating on silver green coating on copper reddish brown coating on iron articles this is about the corrosion next rancidity then what is rancidity fats and oils in food kept for long time get oxidized and become rancid taste and smell of food changes and causes infection on eating this is called rancidity that is the oxidization of the food containing oils and fats and you can give the example chips and sweets get oxidized they become rancid and their taste and smell changes rancidity can be prevented by keeping food items in air tight containers flushing their bag with nitrogen and also by adding antioxidants if you keep the food items in air tight containers you can prevent the oxidization of the food items and the smell and the taste of the food items remains same and also flushing the bags of the food items with nitrogen it also prevents the rancidity and by adding antioxidants antioxidants prevents the oxidization of the food so these are the examples with prevention